Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Real Hebrew Israelites come a week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America and this society. We're gonna start off giving all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad by Hashem, Double honors to our apostles and elders in GMS and brothers that sincerely doing this work and a few sisters that are listening and learning and being obedient to their husbands. Um, we coming back, you know, quit, you know, quit sit down. We out here with the brothers, the Champagne brothers, you know, um, and hey, we, 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 um, we're we going to this lesson. This is the Lord's army. Make this your priority because this is our only priority outside of um, really anything you do uh, in this world, man. This is the main main army that you should be following. And I'm going to start off with that um, First Timothy 2 and 3. Therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Cause we we are soldiers for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So this is the the arm, the main important army that you should be on time for, or et cetera, whatever. When it comes to doing this work, it should be done and executed right away. Especially if an order go out, it should be executed right away. It should never be put on hold. It should never be put on wait. This is what's important. Yeah, like you don't put Esau job on hold or wait or link it up with a female and shit. Mm -hmm. I do that to the Lord. Man. Exactly. It should be executed right away. Right. Yeah, that shit. Like, and that's fucked up. You doing that, man. Yeah, really? it is fucked up. Man. That's some fucked up shit, man. I, I would feel bad. Yeah, kind of. But if you do some shit like that, man. Yeah. You know, I'm shit. I'm, you know, more, uh, 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 put more effort in, into this silly shit than Putting forth effort and serving the Lord, man. Yeah, that's, that's bullshit, man. Um, verse 4. No man that the war of entangle himself with, with the affairs of death, that he may please him who have chose him to be a soul. So you shouldn't be getting tangled up with other bullshit. Uh, no, this is what's important. Everything in the world is other world. Let it be other world. You know, of course, you got a family. Of course, you, you have a job. You might need to get some sleep. But, hey, man, when it comes to the Lord's work, mm -hmm. you should make the priority to be there on time. Regardless of what it is, no matter if you had a, a couple hours sleep, get there on time. You know, um, that's the number one thing. Um, uh, what Murph, what Murph, <laughs> Murph was said, said the best, he said, I'll be macking three holes, three jobs, and <laughs> still get, go to the line. And, and do my videos, and do my prayers, and my read throughout the week. Mm -hmm. It's no excuse. <laughs> yeah, but uh, shit. When I seen apostles, you know, uh, brothers be chilling, a couple of apostles, they'll doze off, fall asleep on the couch. And then Apostle Tyler, all right, time to do this video. Then wake right up. And then shake that sleep off. Man. Give the spirit, man. Damn. That's, that's wrong, man. You yeah. come right up out of sleep. Man. Yeah. You see? We come, like they say, it becomes time serving the Lord, man. Yeah, man. But you know well, this is not our rest anyway, man. Yeah. You will have rest in the kingdom. You know, I know Jake going to rest, but you will rest in the kingdom. The scripture mm -hmm. says we're going to get a time. We're going to get an everlasting rest. That ain't till the kingdom. We ain't in the kingdom. We in hell. We in captivity. Yeah. Yeah. It says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. You know, mm -hmm. so right now is grind time. You know, we've been called to the ministry of the prophets. We got to uh, a, a give diligence, you know. This 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 19, it says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are the Most High's. You see, and then we receive this ministry uh, uh, via mercy, you know. Um, we got to uh, glorify the Heavenly Father in our vessel, man, which means a, a pushing his word, a teaching our people, um, um, a studying and being on point for things, you know, mm -hmm. especially things regarding this ministry. Kind, man, because it this, hey, man, you don't want to get confounded, and it's true. Matter of fact, I grab 2 Timothy 2 and 15. And then whatever precept precepts y'all got, you know, bring them out. Not sure. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't want to, you don't want to get confounded. If you ain't laboring in the truth, you will get confounded. 
Oh, the Lord will boot your ass out. But guess what? The Lord fire people too. He suspend people and he fire people. Sometimes he gonna bring you back. Sometimes you won't. Two and fifteen. I got two and fifteen. Uh, you got it. So yeah, man, this is important, man. This is important. So this is the the, the uh, will of your house, Bashan Yashad, that you should be following. Go ahead and read that. Second, read loud. Okay, God, you already read loud. Go ahead. Second Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, unto Yahweh Shai, and work man that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Exactly. You supposed to we we supposed to not be ashamed when we doing this. So what what you gotta do? You gotta labor. You gotta be so that means it ain't just everything that come with the labor, being on time. Get, um, being on time for the line, doing your videos out the week. Everything. Hey, the, uh, matter of fact, so we brought that out earlier. The um, what the the the, the uh, if you labor abundantly, you will receive bountifully. Yeah, man. So this, if you want to get that 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 nice chunk and penny that the Lord you want what want what the Lord to give you, you gotta labor. And we gotta rightly divide the word of truth. We got people out here teaching bull crap. And showing bad examples like ISUBK and IUIC versus each other, the the, the, the celebrity death match, man, <laughs> celebrity death jam. <gym. laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man, that's that's a terrible example mm -hmm. that the people saw, and that shouldn't even be about. But then they want to drag and try to put us in. No, we ain't in it. We ain't. No, that's that's not what we out here for. We out here to teach the truth, man. Mm -hmm. We out here to uh, wake up the elect, you know. So this is why we make the Lord's problem this this priority first. This is this is His army. Make this your priority. This is His army. You gotta if you gotta be an army in the Lord's man. Okay, we got um, got it. Okay. This this Second Corinthians nine and verse six. It says, "But this I say, he which sowed sparingly shall reap also sparingly." And he which sow bountifully shall also reap, so like you shall reap also bountifully. And you get what you put in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, go, go ahead, go. It says, every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity for the most high love of a cheerful giver. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This can't be, uh, what was, uh, uh, what was uh, damn, uh, shit. This can't be a burden. Kind, kind, kind. Doing, kind. doing the work of Lord. Yeah, yeah, kind. No, it ain't. There's a, uh, first of all, it says the Lord, uh, his uh, burden is light. Somebody uh, hold that on deck. Yeah, it's uh, Matthews 11, 28, 30. Kind. And y'all get what y'all got. This is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 50, uh, it's like 15 and 58, and it reads, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord. For as much as he know that your labor is like it is not in vain in the Lord. Come on, man. It's not in vain, man. So we, we ain't doing hey look, man, your how about your mouth shy ain't gonna just be having you do the work and then you don't get no don't receive. He said, Ye that endure to the end, the same shall will be saved. Say you will be saved. Yeah. If you do this. Yeah, the Lord keep his word. He ain't like Esau eat him. Renee, he'll tell you some shit. Then you do what he reneged on the deal. The Lord is not the Lord is uh not a man he shall lie, man. The scriptures say, man. Exactly. You know, he, he gonna always make sure whatever you need, whatever you uh to get through your daily life, he gonna give it to you and receive it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna receive it. But you gotta put that work in. If you being slothful in business, somebody hold that too, slothful in business. Um Only you're not you're not gonna get, get anything done. And you're gonna make a bunch of excuses which is wicked. You know? So anybody um, I got the Matthew. Yeah, go ahead, bring that out there. Whatever y'all got. This Matthew chapter eleven and verse twenty-eight, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. 
Mm -hmm. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Exactly. So this is not really a hard burden as what people make it to be. I mean, yes, Satan going to come at you. Don't get me wrong, but how do Satan come at you? When you're not on your shit. Mm -hmm. When you're not praying. When you're not um, doing doing the Lord's work, when you're not on time, when you when you're doing things like that, that's when the Lord, that's when Satan start fucking with you. Mm -hmm. you. You actually bring it upon yourself. You know, it's a saying, Elder Byron Roberts. It ain't always Satan. It's sometimes it's just your ass. You bring Satan on you. You the one who's bring him on you to fuck with you because of you. Because what you're doing in your daily life, if you're not focusing and doing what you're supposed to do, then say, hey, well, he, he giving me the opportunity. Shit, I'm going to take it. Right, right, right. <laughs> you, you your own worst enemy, man. <laughs> you know? You see, it goes, that old demon is looking to get back in, man. Yeah. You know? Like I said, you know, if you ain't on your shit, you allow him to come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we already know the story, how uh, if you completely fall out, several other demons... It might not necessarily be seven. Seven means completion. So who knows how many demons the Lord gonna send on your ass, man? Yeah, it's scary. Too. You know, yeah, we see guys that was once part of the fallout. How bugged out they got, man? Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah. I'm gone now, man. Uh, you, you got y'all got some? Uh, you got the uh, Romans. Yeah, I, t I told them that they can bring their scriptures out, but somebody uh, holding the uh, the Romans. Uh, I'm holding. You are, you got it. You yeah. Go ahead, bring it out. Yeah. This is uh, Romans uh, twelve and uh, uh, nine. It says, "For let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave unto that which is good." Be Brotherly love, and I, that's what part of this ministry is all about, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, abhorring evil and holding on to that which is good. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, "Be bro it said, be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent spirit, serving the Lord." Come on, man, being on fire for the Lord, serving the Lord, preferring. Fern, leading, leading your brothers the right way. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You can't be lukewarm in this truth. That's it. The Lord will spew you out of the mouth. That lukewarm spirit, and that's what a a, a lot of jakes that, that's that's in Great Millstone. Don't be surprised you see more heads dropping. It is people going back into the world, man. And that's scary. I mean, it sucks that that have to be, but that's just what it is. And I'm scared. I'm pretty sure these men are scared too, man. You know, nobody want to go back to the world. Well, you know, that's part, you said it. Part of the thing you should be doing is praying. That's part of praying that the Lord take out the Holy Spirit from you, man. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, <laughs> Apostle did this video years ago. He said, one of the main reasons why guys fall off is they don't pray. Yeah. You, you know? got to pray. And in the Hebrew. Yeah. That's what the Lord will hear you more. I mean, you, you, of course, He gonna hear you when you pray in general, but it's more better in the Hebrew. It's more power. The Lord accept it better. And that's why uh, you mentioned it. Apostle Ramla, he's doing them Hebrew videos. But you said Jake didn't listen, to, didn't watch the videos, you know. So you know, the part of this thing is returning back to your language, man. Mm -hmm. you know, not saying you're gonna speak it fluently. But you, you, it's certain things you're supposed to know, even in the Hebrew, man. Uh -huh. You know, but um, that's why he took his. Cause I remember uh, Pops was like, damn, man, we, uh, this bill just teaching Hebrew. He didn't curse, he saw none, uh, nothing. But the point is, he saw don't even want you to return, period, to the Lord. He don't want you to return to your period language, anything like that, man. Uh -huh. You're going to be praying, Lord, Hebrew? Lord really going to hear that. Uh -huh. Ain't finished. Exactly. Yep. Um, Y'all got some? I got some uh, for, you know, doing what you're supposed to do and not coming up with excuses uh, in the process. You know, we was going on earlier. Ecclesiastes chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, 
but findeth an excuse according to his will, you know. So, you know, being on time, you know, uh, doing your lessons every week, everything that you're supposed to be on top of, and, you know, if somebody's reproving you and telling you to get on top of that, like you said, just come with calm or, you know, uh, Salakia. Salakia, and just, be, be, you know, work on that and, and let's see a difference, you know what I'm saying? No excuses. Time, time, cause that's never an excuse, man. Excuses. You know what? Before destruction, that means your ass gonna be destroyed. The boy hates a proud person. Yeah, even a regular human hates a. It's that pride is hate before the Lord and man. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now, you saying that it was a a guy um, I was I grew up with in the world. He went to my grammar school. But I didn't like him because he was so fucking prideful. Like he was just like that. I hated that. Like I ain't. I like man. I just don't like your ass. Mm -hmm. And he ain't understand why. Cause your pride, bro. You just think you like, like you just somebody. Like you, you just all that. You the shit. And I said I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Like that shit was. Eventually he. I guess he realized when he stopped doing. It, when he was doing it so much, he didn't realize. But he was prideful as hell. And then everybody else saw that shit. So he got his ass whooped by everybody. <laughs> because he was so prideful. You know? Like you said, people in the world don't even like that shit, man. Mm -hmm. So it is a, that's important, man. Humbling yourself, man. Taking the rebuke. Listening to hey, wait, where was your error. That's a part of the army. You know, you're going to get corrected. You know? I mean... Correction don't feel good, of course. It don't feel good to get cursed out. <laughs> it stings. But it's better than the Lord stings. Because when he sting you, it's going to really hurt. Yeah. Y'all got anything? Y'all got some long? <clears throat> yeah, I don't. Okay. It's uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 4. It says, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our power is one Lord. And you know this one is the Hebrew word of God, which means he's first. Chief of evil. So this is saying that the, the Lord is first. His brother has started off the only priority. Everything else is the I get to him. But this truth is 100%. That's the only, that's, you can put that on the, on the board right there. Everything else revolves around it. Oh, I'm finna get a job. I know I can't this time and that. All right, so then I'm not working this day. I'm not working this time. Well, I'm gonna do this, do that, and it's gonna all revolve around it because at the end of the day, this is the most important thing <laughs> that you have to get a hold of. It's true. Uh -huh. So you gotta treat it accordingly. Uh -huh. You gotta treat it like a treasure. Uh -huh. You store it up like a. Uh... Matter of fact, I'll read that first, then I'm skipping out. It's Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where a moth and rust do of corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if your treasures is doing the things of the Lord and making sure you execute that right away, that's where your heart's going to be. But if your heart is on that preeminence anyway mm -hmm. you don't probably get nobody power over you while thou lives so when your mind is into what everybody gonna see how you talk how you move you know through this your spirit your spirit gonna pour it out what you what you um been around a lot mm -hmm. and, and you and that's gonna show you where your heart is at mm -hmm. <clears throat> skip down verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High Power of God and his righteousness, that all these things should be added unto you. So these things will be added unto you, seeking the Lord's work first. You say uh, w uh, wisdom is the mother of uh, all things. I got riches by, you know, and so forth. That's that's the importance of uh, this way of doing right now. Because the brother just read, you know, whatever you get your mind to, that's what you're going you know, to get, right? If you labor for the Lord... Hey, if you um, put in that work and patiently wait on that salvation, you're going to reap that eternal life. But if your mind is focused on on things of this world, guess what? The scripture say the fashion of this world passed away. If I can hit this really quick. This, <clears throat> this Sirach chapter 38 and verse uh, 24. 
It says the wisdom of a learned man coming by opportunity of leisure, and that's your free time, your open time. It says, and he that have little business shall become wise. How can wisdom that holdeth the plow and that glory in the gold and that drive of oxen and is occupied in their labors and whose talk is of bullocks? So hey, how are you going to get wisdom if you too over busy at work or doing X, Y, and Z? Things that really don't matter. Now, of course, we got to do our daily things. You know, we got to, of course, it's a balance, of course. But, hey, the work of the <coughs> Lord has to be first. And then you uh, get everything else handled. Yeah. Uh, it says, he giveth his mind to make furrows and is diligent to give the kind fodder. So every carpenter and workmaster that labor of night and day and they that cut and grave seals and are diligent to make great variety and give themselves to counterfeit imagery and watch to finish the work. I'm going to jump down, but it goes into different professions. You know, you got carpenters, got people that um, make make iron work and so forth. They real diligent in what they do. They they, they need it, right? Yeah. It says, uh, verse 31, jump down to thir verse 31. It says, all of these trust to their hands and everyone is wise in his work. Without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. And you need certain professions to keep a city going, right? Mm -hmm. So, hey, the Lord, he didn't, uh, he already had the story written. He didn't call some guys to be uh, smiths. He called some guys to work on cars. He called some guys to do X, Y, and Z. But he called us to be prophets, mm -hmm. right? right? It says, without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. It says, they shall not, it's like in verse 31, no, 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 32, it says, without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit high in a congregation. Mm -hmm. They shall not sit on a judge's seat, nor understand the sentences of judgment. They cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken. But they will maintain the state of the world and all their desires and the work of their craft. And they, the things that matter in this world, it says that uh, uh, folly is set in great dignity, but riches in a low place. This world uplift is a, a bullshit. Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> guess what? Knowledge and wisdom is going to be stability at our times. A laboring in this word is what matters now. You see? Because that's what's going to get us through all hell that's going to come. You see? A, the, a, the prophecies are coming to pass. More and more uh, blatantly, day by day, which means a hey, that great destruction, that that hour of temptation, World War Three, all these things are finna come to pass. And the only way to get through those is a hey, hey, to have that faith in the Lord and, and for that Lord's security to be around you, you know. And how do you get that by doing this work? Mm -hmm. So that should be chief in our life. Mm -hmm. Everything else comes secondhand. Exactly, desire that wisdom. Hey, um, that quite by grab uh, wisdom scholars and sits and. Start at 16 and read to like 20, read to 20. Because that this is important. Us laboring, getting this wisdom that's a part of the army. <clears throat> that's what's going to get us in the kingdom. That's what's going to get us out of the gems that's about to come. When it mm -hmm. says uh, 10,000 shall fall out that right. And, but no. 1,000 at that side. 10, right, right. At that right, yeah. yeah. So yeah, man. That's how we gonna get out, and no evil should touch you. None of that. We need that's we need to desire this, you know. Start at six. We to like twenty. Sixteen. I mean, wisdom of Solomon, chapter six, verse sixteen. Both about seeking such as her, as are worthy of her, she with herself favor of favorably unto them in the ways and meeteth them in every thought. Exactly. And if you desire wisdom like that, you're doing what you're supposed to do, that's what wisdom going to do. It's going to put you on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. You're going you're gonna to even feel the wisdom in you. You're going to feel it. You're going to know like, dang, your how about Shimon is dealing with me. Mm -hmm. You're going to know. You're going to say the water. You're going to be happy. You're going to pray. You're going to know that, hey, amen. And, and you're going to be humble with it, too. Like, man, the Lord didn't even have to give me this. Mm -hmm. He didn't even have to put me here. Like, I don't even deserve this, but I, I appreciate this wisdom that I'm getting. I appreciate Yahweh Bashim HaShem. Let me, let me do more for him. Matter of fact, uh, somebody holds, seek him ten times more. Keep going. 
for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love. <clears throat> exactly, man. Discipline. That means disciplining yourself. Not making it a fucking excuse. Putting some discipline in your life. You know, make, making sure you have priorities. Balancing. Like, like we always say, it ain't always about cussing out Edomites or cussing out these bitches. Or, or it's a, this is this is way more important. These lessons right here are the most important lessons. Or it ain't always, you know, of course we the defenders of the gospel, mm -hmm. but it ain't always about that either. This is the most important videos, and Jake don't even watch them. Mm -hmm. Who does videos? <laughs> you will see the uh, folly videos, the controversy videos, a thousand. Mm -hmm. two, two point K. You know, five uh, to. 2.5k 30k the folly videos getting the most watched um keep going and love is being of her laws and the giving <clears throat> heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Exactly, the, sh the insurance, so you won't get you're not gonna be corrupted. <laughs> you're gonna you because you, you know you're doing what you're supposed to do for your house, by me out shot. You stay in focus, you desire, and you really walk in this walk, not just talking. You know, you got a lot of guys that talk it but don't walk it. They're not really about the truth. They're not about your how about you shot. You can know a, a, a hundred scriptures. That don't mean nothing. If you ain't app applying them to your life, you got to apply these things. You have to live like an Israelite. Mm -hmm. You cannot be living like the same nigga you was how many years ago you'd have been in the world. You got to change your whole attitude, your whole mindset. This is, this is what's important. This is what's going to get us out of hell. Hey, man, we looking forward to that. I'm ready to get out of hell. I'm tired of living in this shit. But this is what's going to get us out of this. Keep going. And incorruption maketh us near unto Yahushai. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Exactly, man. It's going to bring us uh, near to, to Yahushim Yahushai. You know? That's what's gonna just get us through this um, truth, man. But you got it. But but you have to apply it. You know that's what's important. That's what's gonna get us to the kingdom. Cause wisdom bring us forth to the kingdom. Ain't nothing else gonna bring us to the kingdom. Carnal, your carnal mind ain't gonna get you there. You are gonna get smoked by Esau. <laughs> so I mean, go ahead and be carnal. Like these other guys out here want to have guns and. I got the AK on, on the, the strap on the line. You know, ain't nobody, you know, what that's going to do? <laughs> what is that going to do when, when, when uh, Yahweh Bashim al rain hell on this place? You think a strap going to save you in that day? You think your carnalness going to save you in that day? You think the food, you, you might not even make it to that food you stored up, that water you stored up. You might get stuck somewhere. That goes for everybody. You might, you, 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 let's say you're a young brother in the truth. Your, your father might not get to you. You have to uh, learn how to uh, lead on your own. Mm -hmm. Learn how to get to situations on your own. On your own. How are you going to do that? By following the examples that's being put before us. The, the, the apostles is what I'm putting this before us. And we fought. Why? Because their uh, elders put it before them. And they follow in that example. And they bring it, pass it down to us through the power of your house, Washim Yahushat, to lead by that same example to get the hell up out of here. Mm -hmm. You know? Anybody got something? I got one. Uh, this is that, uh, Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Uh, you you want to break it down? God, just if your <laughs> man said that hey, we all went off, we all was doing the. Hey, being the greatest nigga possible. How much more that we didn't got the real truth and have the chance of eternal life, the chance of making on the first go round. 
Because we know 100% that it's all hell coming to this place. <clears throat> all destruction. And any, it's only one way to salvation. So we got to walk that straight gate. Man. We got to walk that path to uh, um, to salvation to the best of our ability. Putting in the absolute best that we can so we can receive that crown. Mm -hmm. That's right. So that's what's important, man. We, 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 we want to get them crowns, like you said, in uh, Second Ezra. So I'm putting up my matter of fact, uh, grab that yak bar, but it's um, so like, you want to uh, grab that? I'm pull this up. This right. is uh, right here. this is James 1 and 12. It says, Blessed is the man. Second Ezra's 2, start at four, uh, 42. Oh, go on here, bro. This is uh, James 1 and uh, 12. It says, Blessed, blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of Yahweh. For Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither be tempted in he any man. Exactly. But every, fuck it, but every man that is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Break that down. So pretty much, man, you know, well, going to verse 12, you know, it's blessed, blessed is he that endured through all, you know, you know, that weak, weak spirit that he get on you, man. You shake that. You, 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 you do the work. You. Do what you got to do in order to build yourself up and, and stay diligent in this truth. You know? that's, that's right. And, and the, the main important thing, the most high didn't do that to you. Calm. You did it off your own lust. That was you. When, when, so when Jay mm -hmm. do something and, and, they, and, and they end up getting cursed out for it, it's because of you did it. Don't blame. Don't sit around and blame. Oh, that was Satan. Well, Satan going to tempt you. He's the ultimate tempter. But when you, you give him the reason. <laughs> you decide that. You decide that. So that's 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 the whole point, man. You know that that, that that's on you. Mm -hmm. So don't don't hey, you know because Jake, it be some Jakes out there who like niggas in the world quick to blame the Most High. Like uh, mm -hmm. that motherfucker, that's your, your fault. Uh, I gotta read something It's uh the Book of Sirach, chapter fifteen, verse twelve. It says, say not thou, he hath caused me to err, for he have no need of a sinful man. Mm -hmm. You can break it down. God, so, you know, don't be blaming on that shit on yourself, man. You ain't been praying, you ain't been fasting, you ain't getting weak. You need to examine yourself and just get it right, man. You know, uh, the most high, he, he, and you know, Jake come crying to you because he catching hell. But like your brother said, you bring on yourself, man, being lukewarm, not being hot. Then the Lord start chastising your ass, then you crying to everybody. Kind you should have just got that shit, you know. You should have got that shit in order, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right, kind. Of, that's correct. So, uh, Jake, Jake got to start being more holding themselves more accountable mm -hmm. for yeah. their actions. You can't. That's what females do. They don't hold themselves accountable. They always get a bailout. They got every bailout in the world: child support, uh, Section Eight, Wick. Link, all of these bailouts, but 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 a man don't get no bailout, and but the Lord gonna destroy them damn females for that too, cause they 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 think they got a bailout. You may have got a bailout about Esau, but you ain't gonna get away when when you have about Shimei Al Shai put hands on you. That goes for you sisters out here. You know, especially if you ain't got if you ain't got no men, you should be you should be hoping that the Lord bless you with a, a husband. The hell is wrong with you talking? To, and then a lot of y'all be saying, oh, "I'm married to you." How man? <laughs> how you know you have a shot? Won't your funky ass? Mm -hmm. You know, come on, man. The Lord got something better for for you. How a shot? He ain't about to give him no. Probably got some good versions ready for him. He ain't about to just. Some of you females are used up. I mean, of course, y'all gonna get new bodies. A lot of y'all, but don't, don't, don't think, don't think high of, of yourself. Like you, somebody. Mm -hmm. Get a man of the Lord, man. For especially a hey, the man of the Lord, and then stop crushing on the man of the Lord. Stop doing that shit. He might not want your ass. He might send you to another brother, a brother that might not look to your appealing. But guess, guess what? He a man of the Lord. So who gives a damn how you look? 
That's the problem. That's a problem. Another thing with y'all, wicked ass. But you know, that's a whole other subject. But it has to be said because y'all out there listening too. You need to stop all that crushing on. Oh, I want that brother. He, that might, that brother might not want you. We do the choosing. But um, get that second Ezra star um, two and start at forty two. Second Ezra chapter two verse forty two. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And the midst, and in the midst of them there was a young man yes, of midst. a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Exactly. So, hey, that's what we... This is why it's important to take, take this army serious of the Lord. Make it your priority. This is why. Because you want, you want that crown. Everybody want a crown, but don't want to work for the crown. <laughs> you know, everybody think a crown is supposed to be handed to them. You know, these people of the world, they think really, they really think like that. This microwave generation, everybody want things to, to go their damn way, but it don't always go your way. You know, keep going. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahawashai. Now are they crowned and received Palms. Exactly, man. Don't know why she got the palms, man. Receive. Denounce this world. Exactly, no. Mm -hmm. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of God of Yahushai, whom son they of have the most high. Yeah. of the most high, who they have confessed in the world and began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Kind. And them the ones who stand stiffly, man. Because them, them the ones who pulled off. And that, it, it, that's you have a shy crown in them, man. So, man, if you want to get receive that crown by your have a shy, you have to put the work in. You have to do the things that are a priority of your have a shy in this body. Appreciate it. Don't. This Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 9, it says, There remain therefore a rest to the people of the Most High. For he that is entered into his rest, he also have ceased from his own works as the Most High did from his. Let us therefore, it's like, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Mm -hmm. You see, so to get those crowns, to get that, that, that heavenly kingdom, and we must labor now, you know, a, 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 um, build on that road of salvation, you know, and um, push this ministry to well doing, you know, mm -hmm. and hope unto the end and endure those uh, the, them trials, them temptations, you know, to receive that crown. That's right. That's what's important, man. You know, ain't nothing else important more than this. You know, this this is all we got. This is all we got. You got to really put that in your mind. Your family in the world going to turn on you. Mm -hmm. uh, your, 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 your woman might turn on you. You know, it's going to be a, a lot of, you're going to see a lot of turnarounds on you. Wait, who, who ain't going to turn on you? The brotherhood and your house washing me out with y'all. They're going to stay, they're going to stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. So you, you got to really put that in your mind and believe that too. So a lot of people don't believe. They don't have faith. That's what's important, having faith, man. And really believing in what you're into. You got to know what you're into too. When we said this is the Lord Army, man, this that that's that's, <laughs> that's serious, man. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're getting yourself into, man. When you when you um get called into this thing, cause like I said, many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. So you might not be chosen, but how do you um 
hope that you chose it by making your call in an election sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Being diligent, uh, working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, that's what's important. All right, appreciate it. Uh, it's <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Just touching on the point that brother's going in on to, this is, um, this, is a, this is a spiritual war. You know, and uh, you got to know what you are a part of, know what you're fighting for. You see, this is, um, wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, being adorned with this word. You know, so hey, when, when those evil days do come and get through them, it says, stand therefore, having your learned loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shot with the preparation of, of, of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye sh shall be able to quench all the fiery depths of the wicked. Uh -huh. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High, praying always with all prayer, and pray without ceasing, and supplication in the Spirit, and watching during two with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. You know? Uh, and actively on that watch too, Sly. No, no, I'm just saying, kind. But yeah, kind. But like, cause, hey, man, you you never know what's gonna come at you. Esau is a chance. Hey, guess what? Esau is diligent. The the at least they diligent in their wickedness. They diligent in sending up curses on us. They diligent in praying to their God. Mm -hmm. So how much more we gotta be diligent? <laughs> cause they diligent in putting out their MOTV. Mm -hmm. They 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 doing their work. How much more we got to do our work? Mm -hmm. Hey, the spiritual demon Satan, he, 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 he on his shit. You know, and if you ain't on yours, if you not doing what you need to do, then when he creeps up, you're going to be through, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, he going to overthrow you, too. <clears throat> put you right into all type of temptations. <laughs> Might put you in some front of a bitch you've been wanting to clap for years. But then you find out she got a man as soon as you about to put the rod in her. She mm -hmm. tell you why when you about to put the rod in her, you I, I got I got a confession. What what? Mm -hmm. You know I got a man. Right when you about to put the rod in, like that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, like that it might happen that way. Yeah. You, you, you ain't know she, now she finally confessing to you after all that when have to happen, and then now you got to make this choice if I'm gonna still clap or not because now it's tempting. Like the ass might be fat as hell, juicy, pussy looking right, everything looking mm -hmm. right on her. So now you test it, yeah, man. Uh, that's when you, hey, that's when you uh, resort back to the precepts, you know. Yeah. The precepts be a secure, exactly. You're gonna leave right out the room, you know what? I gotta go. She's gonna be like, What? Because she know that a, a nigga in the world gonna clap, like, mm -hmm. like hold on. You, you ain't gonna hit you out of your you don't see this? She gonna be trying to show like like all of that. Nah, I gotta go, man. Right, right. She gonna hit you. Yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like all of that. But that's that's what that's that's the things we're battling with when it comes to this truth. Mm -hmm. You're gonna battle with certain things, man. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody got some precepts? I got some. Uh, <clears throat> it's um Matthew gonna be six wrapping and it up soon. Thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Break it down. Pay right, so, back out. So when you um seeking the Lord in this ways, you know, like your brother was just bringing up uh, about a woman, I right, you take that shit, the Lord will give you two, three women, man. Mm. All right, you know, as long as you seeking the Lord first, man. Right. Hey, for example, Job, he took everything away from him, and um. He stored what he took from him double after he went through the hell he had to go through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See the patience of Job? Mm -hmm. Let him be blessed. Mm -hmm. uh, not that the mercy for slot. Oh, uh, no, nah, you good. You just, you just finishing what you saying. But uh, I got this Colossians 3 and I'm going to start at 1. If ye then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above. 
where Mashiach sit up on the right hand of the Most High Power of God. So, yeah, we seek the things are above, like how Shai did. That's what he did. He put his life on the line for this truth. He didn't he didn't get to have no fun mm -hmm. when he was Yahweh Shai. He his his whole thing was business. Mm -hmm. He was just on straight business. Mm -hmm. The things we we can do, like he ain't go basketball, he ain't lift no weights. He wasn't doing he was on straight business. When we when, when we got more we got more leisure to do certain things like that. He didn't have he didn't have the time. His time was always about his father's business. So that's why you gotta follow that example to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. Verse two, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead and your life is hid with Mashiach in the most high power of God. Your life will be hid with him. So that means the Lord gonna always put a hedge over you to protect you. As soon as he pull that hedge off you, and you're gonna see what the Lord will do to you, man. Just to, to test you. You know? And it, it don't feel good when he move, move that hedge. You got all type of stuff hitting you, like boom, 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 boom you and your shit. Verse 4: When Mashiach's our life should appear. Then should ye also appear with him in glory. And that's what we're looking for, to be appear with him in that glory. What do that mean? We get the new bodies. Mm. We out of this wretched flesh that can sin. <laughs> we don't want to continue in this <coughs> wretched flesh. That's the whole point, man. We about to get a whole new body. Uh -huh. uh, they, it, ain't, it don't say extraterrestrial, but to, to, to full and, you know, really understand it, that's what it would be, an extraterrestrial body. That means you like you you like you got the human form, but you are angel. You got the power. You are God. You know that's what that's what Yahweh Shimon Shai has got in store for us. And how do we get that? By being taking this serious, by understanding this is the work of the uh, uh, the army of the Lord, and you making it your priority. You, you got some? I appreciate. Okay. So this on Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, it says, No man can serve two masters, whether for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. He cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. All right? And going back to what the brother was saying, you know, um, you got to choose, you know, Yahweh first, man. Put the Lord first. You know, because once you are caught up into the affairs of your life, whether it's a job or woman, you know, you start despising, you know, the Lord, which is supposed to be another way. You know, once you're in the spirit and you put off the, the worldly shit to the side, you know, mm -hmm. you, you behind the lessons, you're like, okay, you know, I ain't going to deal with this woman today. You know, I got to get in the spirit more or read more, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you got brothers that could have been football players, you know, um, actors, rappers, all right, but they chose this truth, man, you know, mm -hmm. that's it on that. Kind of, kind of spirit, because there's a lot of brothers that, yeah, man. And so, I mean, there's brothers that was in the NFL and not in the NFL no more because of the truth. They like, fuck that shit. Right. But when they heard this truth, what did they do? They ran to the truth. They stopped running towards that. And, you know, they on, on Madden. You could go play with them, bro. <laughs> 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 on, on the really? game Madden. But, mm -hmm. but do he care about that? Hell no. Right. He care about your how about Shim Yahweh Shai. So that's how you know that's, that's powerful. Mm -hmm. You know? A lot of people don't see that though, you know. Um, anybody got some precepts? Cause we gonna get like our last closing. Cause it's Second Timothy chapter four verse five, and it says, "But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, mm -hmm. make full proof of the ministry." Uh -huh. All right, another word for evangelist is preacher, man. Do the work of a preacher. This is our only job. This is what Yahweh Shemayah set us forth to do. All right, is go out. Preach this word, Lord willing, willing the elect. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is secondary, man. You know? Mm -hmm. The job that you're working now, that's not your first job, you know? You got to remember the first love, which is this truth. This is our first job, you know? And make full proof of the ministry, man. You mm -hmm. know, like your brother said earlier, make uh, your calling the election sure. You know, you want to make sure you're doing everything that uh gave you, you know? Because everybody got different levels of faith. But that little bit of faith or whatever it is that the Lord gave you, you go to full extent, all right? You don't do the bare minimum. You know, you, you try to, you know, you go overboard for the Lord. 
Yeah, your talent, whatever your talent, talent is. You 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 appreciate your talent and you and utilize that talent and execute. That's what you do. Matter of fact, anybody got some? Yeah, That's what we going you got some? Yeah. All right, go ahead, bring it out. We're gonna close it on the talents. This so first somebody can get this. This uh first Corinthians nine and twenty four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one received the prize, so run that ye may obtain. So we have to run that we may obtain this, this prize, man. It says, and every man that striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. And when you go into this, Paul is giving a similar tool like the athletes. You know, you got um, LeBron James, this nigga putting, this nigga ain't late for practice. This nigga ain't uh, missing any press conferences, missing this, missing that, missing any games, this, that, and third. That's for this nigga get swept up in the uh, conference finals, man. And they putting in mad work. They're not eating certain food. They cutting out this, that, and the third so they can do their job to the utmost priority. These rappers are doing the most wickedness possible so they can be the best nigga on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. But So how much more than what we have to do? And these niggas doing this for what? It says, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. So they doing this shit for no reason, for fame, man. Mike Tyson, he had all the championships. He said, man, this shit don't mean nothing. He, he didn't put anything in the data in the ring for it. He said, man, this means nothing to me. Because this, this is a, a corruptible crown. No one's going to talk about that in the kingdom. And they still talk mm -hmm. about a righteous forefathers thousands of years later. Mm -hmm. No one's going to be talking about uh, um, um, a basketball player that was in the league 10 years ago. No one's talking about him. Look at Delonte West. That nigga threw. Make a point on that. You got the back in Rome when they had the and the games that they used to play. You don't hear niggas bringing up those those athletes from the back in the end. Them niggas, times do, did away with their ass, man. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the only reason Michael Jordan and them still being talked about because they sold out all the way. Because you don't hear about, what, what was that one that one guy, that basketball player, I forget his name, I forgot his name. He was dark skin. He was on um, play for, um, I can't think of his damn name, man. I can't think of him. He was he used to live in Chicago though, but then he transferred to the I think it was the Celtics. Was it Celtics? I don't remember. But he they you don't hear about him no more. That's how that's how much I don't even know his name anymore because you don't hear about him no more. <laughs> and he was a good um, basketball player, you know. So all that shit don't mean shit. It's gonna be forgotten. So um, bring that talents out. It's uh, Matthew 25 and, let me start at the top of the parable, or the point? This is the top of the point. 14. There's Matthew 25 and 14. It says, for the kingdom of, the, of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them, to them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. It's like, and to another one every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey it says then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents so likewise ye that have received two it's like he that had received two he also gained other two but he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his lord's money after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with him. And so he that had received five talents came and bought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have grant, I have gained beside them five talents more. And the Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Exactly. That was all because he, he utilized his talent and mm -hmm. he executed it. You know, that's, that's, that's what's important. And I found out that dude name was uh, Kevin Garnett. You know, he was a good, he, his, he ain't remembered. You don't even remember his ass no more, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 He, and he was a decent hooper, but don't nobody talk about him no more. He on the commercials for gambling right now. Gambling, you know, people doing bets for the games and stuff like yeah, that. Be all loud and rambunctious and shit. Yeah, man, come on, man. But yeah, man, <laughs> he, he had a talent, he used it, but now look at it don't, it don't matter, but these talents we get is going to be remembered. Mm -hmm. It says, Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. 
He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Exactly. And he had little talents. Mm -hmm. And he only was ruler over a few things. Now he's going to be a ruler over many things. Mm -hmm. Because he, he utilized his talent. And he executed it. That's what's important. That's, a, that's what you do when you are part of the army of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Making it your priority. You're going to do what's right. Keep on. Mm -hmm. Verse 24. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping, it's like it, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. <clears throat> Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Exactly, and this, 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 this is the, uh, go for a lot of niggas. They say, oh, I'm scared, Lord. But you had the opportunity. <laughs> if you was really scared, you would be doing the work. Exactly. Like, that ain't, but he buried the talent. So he basically said, this talent ain't going to do me no good. You know, and guess what the Lord going to do to him? It says, his Lord answered and said unto him, thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which have ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing yeah, of teeth. teeth. Well, that's going to be that destruction that's about to come. Jacob's trouble, the missile, getting your head cut off in, in front of your house, yeah? mm -hmm. That's all coming. Yeah. So that's what's going to happen to these guys who's slothful, who's not taking the Lord's army serious, who's not making it a priority, mm -hmm. who ain't just out here bullshitting. And thinking this child's play, when this is not, this is something serious. The Lord will remove you and get rid of you quick. He don't need you. We need Him. Mm -hmm. We gotta remember that. We, we the Lord said He could have raised up these rocks, the stones, called out the stones and made them into a nation. So uh, how much more in that saying do we need us? So, so it's a lot of point that we don't need us. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close it out with that. We're going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders and GMS and brothers that sincerely doing this work. And a few sisters that are listening and learning and being obedient to the hood and keep pushing and doing the work. Shalom, Barakatham, and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.